So we start the story in the Shire, where the Hobbits live. Bilbo is close to his 111th birthday in the beginning of the story of the Lord of the Rings, but physically looks like he is only 50 years old because of the One Ring that keeps him from looking old. His eldest cousin is Frodo, who was much younger and close to his 30. Bilbo is a very rich man after the treasures he brought from Erebor, the Lonely Mountain, from his adventures with Gandalf and the dwarves fighting the dragon, Smog, that we can read in the Hobbit book. Old M. Genji, known as the Gaffer, is Samwise Genji's father and gardener for Bilbo for 40 years, and he lived right below Bilbo's house that is called the Bag End. We don't see it in the Peter Jackson movie, but a wagon with dwarves arrives to Bilbo's house in preparation for the party. He had a long white beard and bushy eyebrows that stuck out beyond the brim of his hat. This is Gandalf. He arrives and stays at Bilbo's house. Bilbo gave amazing presents to many, many hobbits. He ordered toys that had come from Dale, the city of Dale. Magical toys made by dwarves. The party began and everyone was eating and drinking during the full day and night. The fireworks started at night, brought by Gandalf, made by Gandalf, designed by Gandalf and even started by Gandalf. The last firework was an amazing realistic red and golden dragon, spitting fire and flying in the direction of the party. All the hobbits ducked down in fear and amazement. The book doesn't detail it, but this dragon was probably planned by Gandalf and not like the movies where we see Merry and Pippin doing it. But it is also possible that they did it. Then it was time for the speech and it was much like the movie portrays it. Even the best scene. Contrary to the movies, in the books, Bilbo also gives a mention to Frodo because it's also his birthday, which is a very nice touch to read. Then he puts the ring and disappears. The book gives these details very, very well. Basically, they were shocked for a few seconds and then all of them took it as a joke and kept eating and drinking like nothing happened. At the house, Gandalf is there and the interaction you see in the movies is much like the books word by word, I must say. An interesting little detail is that three dwarves were in the house during this conversation between Bilbo and Gandalf. They all go on the journey with Bilbo to Rivendell that same night after he drops the ring with Gandalf. Another interesting detail is that Gandalf sleeps that night in Bag End. For some reason, I never thought about that, but it's fun. Gandalf still cannot stop talking about the ring. You see that he is very unsure and restless about it, and he leaves the Shire with a lot of questions and Frodo stays with the ring. So this is the first chapter and it shows how wonderful it would be to live in the Shire with hobbits. Parting, eating good food in the middle of amazing green landscapes. Dwarves win the race, but hobbits are also little greedy folks. This chapter is the first, but already makes the reader very interested in the mystery of the ring, because we now know it as magic. It gives Bilbo a long life and a more juvenile face and can make him invisible. The last pages are much more focused on the ring and we feel what Gandalf feels, the mystery, the power of the ring, and we cannot wait to read more. I hope you enjoyed this talk about the first chapter of the book of the Lord of the Rings. I would ask you to subscribe to the channel to get notifications for more videos and support the channel. This is for Frodo, for the fans.